Color. Hi, this is Ken and Scott, and this is about colors. But there aren't any colors in the dark. Things only have color when light hits them. That's better. Check out the clothes. Looks like I dressed in the dark, doesn't it? We see things like me, my shirt and pants, because light bounces off of them and into our eyes. Everything we see is a reflection of light, including colors. But what color is light? Light from the sun or this lamp is white. That white light is a combination of lots of different colors. You'll get an idea of what I'm talking about when I shine the light through this special piece of glass. See, it breaks white light down into its various colors. Look at that, pretty as a picture, huh? At the Exploratorium in San Francisco, Robin found a picture made with light, a big screen filled with colors. Standing in front of the screen, I cast no shadow. What's going on? In front of the screen, I see a bunch of mirrors reflecting colored light. Where are all these colors coming from? The light hitting the mirrors was coming from what looked to be a very bright window. But it wasn't a window, only strips of glass. The light was coming from behind the glass. But there was another mirror reflecting white light from a mirror above it. And the light beam was coming from still another mirror way across the building. And that mirror was reflecting the light beam coming from a hole in the roof. To find out where all this light was coming from, I got permission to go up on the roof. I was told to look for a man cleaning, guess what, a mirror. Hi. Hi. I followed this beam you of followed light the, all the way up here. So you followed the sunbeam all the way back to here? Is that what it was? Because yep. I was trying to find out what the source was. Yep. All I saw is a bunch of mirrors. Sunlight. Sunlight? Yep. How does it get down this tube? Well, the sun's over there, hits the mirror, uh -huh. and the mirror reflects it down the tube. The sun painting only works when the sun shines, because that's where the colors come from, from the sunlight. No sunlight, no colors. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You said sun painting. What's a sun painting? The sun painting we saw down below on the big screen. Oh, is that those colors? That's what you do here. You're that's right. A painter? Yeah. But how do you paint with the sunlight? With all the colors that are in the sunlight. You have to, I don't understand. Can you explain to me or show me how they, or how you do those sun paintings? Oh, seeing's the best way. Let's go on down below and I'll show you what, what I mean. Okay. Bob Miller is an artist who paints, not with paint, but with light, sunlight. Okay, now once you get the sunlight inside the roof. How do you get it over here? Well, it comes down through the shaft, hits the mirror up there. That shoots it through the air over here to this mirror. Oh, right here. That one reflects it down here to this mirror. Mm -hmm. So it's been reflected four times, but it's still white sunlight. Mm -hmm. But this mirror then reflects it over here to the rack of prisms. Okay, now and what when happens it, when it goes through here? That's where the fun begins. Come on around the other side. Each one of these is a prism, just a triangular piece of clear glass or plastic. In fact, here's one, look, just the same as these, see? It's a clear piece of plastic, but it's in the shape of a triangle. You can see on the end there. Now, what happens to the white sunlight when it comes through here? When it hits the prism, light bends. The different colors bend different amounts. So the blue light bends more than the red light. So when that white sunlight leaves this side of the prism, the blue light's gotten bent over that way, and the red light not quite as much. Now, wait, 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 where's the blue light coming from? Well, when you walk down the street and see a green tree and a red house and a, a yellow car and the blue sky, where are those colors coming from? They're coming from the sunlight. You don't see those colors at night, 
Well, how come the, the leaf is green, though? I don't understand. And how it, how come it's not a whole bunch of colors? Well, the, the blue car is blue because the white sunlight hits the blue car, and the paint in the blue car absorbs all the colors except blue. It reflects that oh. back to your eye, mm -hmm. so you see the blue car. And the same thing with the green leaf. A green leaf absorbs all those colors in the white light except for the green. It reflects the green, so the leaves look green to you. Wow. But all those colors are in the white sunlight. Well, That's nice. What's fun, a prism is a neat way to take that sunlight and Break start it breaking it up and spreading it out into all those colors. That's that's what they call the spectrum. That's what they call the spectrum. And you can see that here. Mm -hmm. When that white sunlight goes through the prisms, and yeah. that white light is made up of all those colors, the blue bends more than the red. Uh -huh. And you can see the blue starting to appear here and the right. red there. The further back you go, the more the colors spread out. Until you get back far enough, you'll get all the colors of the rainbow. Right. All those colors are in the sunlight all the time. Okay, but now how do you paint with these colors? Well, once we got the sunlight spread out into these colors, we can go over there and you can take a narrow strip of mirror and you can pull off whatever bands of color you want. And change the colors and around? that's like having a paint pot. Oh, God, let's do that. Now, could I make something like this? Sure. Just get yourself a little prism uh -huh. and a mirror. There's your start and some sunshine, of course. <laughs> and then I'd have to have little strips of mirrors to, to make pull the off your bands of color. The... Yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. That's a little light of green. Yeah. Oh, wow. I like this color. I used to think white sunlight was just white sunlight. It's not. It's full of colors. Full of colors. Beginning to see the light? I thought so. We see things because light bounces off of them. If a color doesn't reflect, we don't see it. Because everything we see is a reflection of light. And light is full of colors. So color is a reflection too. Red light or green light or blue light must bounce off things, sending that color right into our eyes. Pretty neat. But I'm not walking around with red light shining on my pants to make them red, am I? That'd be a real pain in the neck. So how come they're red? You're walking down the street, minding your own business, and the whole time your red pants are being hit by light. White light. Light that's full of colors, including red. You can't feel it, but it's happening just the same. And everybody can see that your pants are red because of something in your pants. And I don't mean you. I mean pigment. The pigment that was used to dye your pants soaks up all the colors of light, except for red. The pigment reflects the color red. Red light bounces off the red pigment and hits you right in the eye. So, Pants have pigment, and so do leaves. During spring and summer, most leaves are green, but when autumn arrives, the leaves turn all kinds of different colors. Kathy found out how. in the fall and seen that the green leaves have turned bright colors? Have you ever wondered where those colors come from? Kathy, what happens when the change of the seasons takes place, as there's, there's less light and it gets cooler, the leaves can no longer manufacture food. So all of the food that they have accumulated goes into the stems and into the trunk to be stored and the leaves then fall off. There's even still some green ones. Dr. William Gordon and I are in the Shenandoah National Park. That's in Virginia. Ah, here's a yellow one. Oh, yeah, it's a very nice yellow one. Why do the leaves change color? Well, actually, when the plant is taking nutrient uh, from the leaves when it's going to sleep, in addition to the nutrient, it also takes the colored stuff out. Uh, the colored stuff is a pigment, and this green pigment that's normally in the leaves is called chlorophyll. So it's not so much that it changed color, it's just that the chlorophyll, which is pigment, a pigment, 
that got absorbed into the plant and showed us the yellow that was there all along? Yes, the yellow and oftentimes other colors are there all along, but because the chlorophyll is green, it will reflect green and absorb all of the other colors from the natural light of the sun. But how do you know this? Can, can you prove it? Sure. Why don't we take a few back to the laboratory and, and examine them? Okay. Should we get some green ones, too? Sure. Let's get a couple. All right. Do green leaves really have more colors than meet the eye? Maybe our experiment in the lab will show us. Why are we doing this experiment? What we want to show is that in the green leaves, which make food, there is this chlorophyll pigment, but other pigments also that we can't see. Mm -hmm. But in the yellow leaves, since the chlorophyll is gone, the only thing that's left are the yellow pigments. Once we finish cutting them up, uh, we're going to add some solutions, some chemicals, and then we'll start grinding to make the pigments come out. Kathy, just pour enough solvent to cover the top of the leaves. That's good. Now the next one. Very good. Okay, Kathy, I think we've grounded enough there. Okay. Now we can pour the pigments into these test tubes. Okay, just the liquid part? Oh, it doesn't matter if we get some of the leaf material in there. We just want to get as much of the pigment as we can out. It just still looks like green to me. Yeah, that's true. Uh, mine is yellow. Uh, yours appears to be green, but there are other colored pigments in there as well. Now we're going to put the solution on the paper here? Yes. What you want to do is to take the, the long glass tube, and with your glass tube, okay, mm -hmm. make a line. Follow the pencil line? Follow the pencil line on the paper. Okay. Mm-hmm. Should we do a yellow one, too? Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. okay. Why don't we now put each one of the strips into the jar? Okay. We'll put the green strip in first. Strip with the green pigment on first. Okay. Good. And then we'll put the yellow one in. Okay. Right, thank you. Good. Now we'll watch the pigment separate. What appears to be green later on is going to be revealed as two different shades of green and two different shades of yellow. And that means that there are several different kinds of colored stuff in the green extract from the leaves that we had. And as you can see, there's a bit of yellow oh, colored yeah. already. And on this strip where we had only the yellow pigment, all you can see is yellow. So the solution makes the pigment rise up through the paper and separate out into its different colors. Yes, that's right. Hmm, that's neat. There you have it. In the leaf that had turned yellow, there was only yellow pigment. But in the green leaf, there were green and yellow pigments all along. We see things, including colors, because light bounces off of them and into our eyes. White light, the light from the sun or a light bulb, is a mixture of lots of different colors. Pigments, like the dye in your pants, or the chlorophyll in a leaf soak up all of light's colors, except the one which is reflected back to your eye. So, no light, no color. It's that simple. Three to One Classroom Contact is a production of the Children's Television Workshop.